Good evening, it's Faye here with Northern Red Fitness. Just gonna pop into the comments and drop that parkour form. We know we always like to make sure we are healthy and ready for exercise. I am here in Vernon where it is, trying to block that sun, it is still a staggering 32 degrees outside. So uh, this will be a hot yoga, which was not intended, but depending on where you are, it may or it may not be a hot yoga. Uh, today we're gonna do just a gentle flow, a nice easy practice for you. Tonight we're gonna stay right down on the mat so you're not gonna stand up, no balance, nothing funky at all. We are just doing a gentle practice, opening up through the hips, through the low back, all that good stuff. Drop a comment, let me know that you're here, you're watching, you're joining. Um, we're doing a nice easy practice today. I'm gonna, sorry about the sun. Um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, just drop this down a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, that's better, I think, for the sun, maybe. Turn you, I don't know how to go. The sun is too bright. I'll just block it with my giant hair. Um, so we are going to keep it nice and simple. If you saw my story earlier, uh, you saw that I got no sleep last night that uh, my dog was chasing trash pandas up trees all night. So um, I'm uh, fairly tired, but still here and still excited to bring you this practice tonight. Like I said, a gentle flow, make sure that you are good and ready for exercise, that your doctor has approved it. Anything that we do, make sure that it is within your wheelhouse, that you feel safe. Do is here, hey baby girl. I know that's what you guys come here to watch is my girl, Vessa. So um, join me tonight. Uh, Vessa will be here. Hopefully she won't be stealing the spotlight as she, a spotlight as she usually does. I'm just going to adjust this camera, hopefully. Ah, uh, there we go. Take the sun out of the equation. So we're going to start back on the mat here. Sitting nice and easy, cross leg. I have my right leg in front. Hands over the knees, draw the shoulders back. So we have a tall spine. Make sure any of the flesh is pulled out from under our sit bones. So just nice and even there. Hands on the knees, shoulders drawn back, lengthening through the spine here, belly button tight. Shoulders drop back. And just some big deep belly breaths here. You can close the eyes if you like, inhaling up through the nose, filling the belly, through the ribs, all the way up to the top of the lungs. And then exhale from the nose, from the top of the lungs, through the ribs, and into the belly. Feel free to follow that breath. <laughs> so as you inhale, feel the belly rise, then the ribs and then the top of the lungs. As you exhale, feel the breath lead from the top of the lungs, through the ribs, and down deep into the belly. Squeeze that belly button tight into the spine. A few more deep breaths like this. Inhaling fully, feeling the spine rise. And then exhale completely. Draw the shoulders back and down. Big inhale. And slow exhale. Put the hands over the knees, one more big inhale all the way up. Exhale, let's sweep the chest down towards the left side. Exhaling all the way out, coming through the center. And inhale up to the right. Exhale, changing directions, bringing the chest down, a nice tall spine, reach it forward. And inhale to the opposite side. Continuing that at your own pace, holding any position that might feel like it needs just a little bit more attention. Exhale as we come down and sweep. Inhales coming up. 
feeling a lengthening through the spine. On your next pass through, we're gonna hold it in the center, bringing the hands out in front, lengthening through the spine. So instead of rounding the spine, trying to touch the forehead down, instead we're gonna try to bring the belly button towards the legs, the chest towards the floor, slowly reaching those hands out, keeping a neutral spine. Ears in line with the shoulders and shoulders in line with the hip. Every exhale brings us just a little bit lower. Staying within your practice. Softening, melting down. Slow, deep breaths. Filling the belly, the ribs, and the lungs, creating space. And as you exhale, allowing all that breath to release, softening a bit deeper into that fold. One more big inhale. And exhale completely. Inhale, rising up, nice and tall, shaking it out here. So as I said, I've got my right leg in front. If you have your left, that's fine. We're going to take our peace fingers here and grab a hold of our big toe. So in that front leg, we're going to extend it forward. Now you might have a bend in your knee if your hamstrings aren't very flexible yet. You might be able to press through the heel and extend the leg out, maybe a little bit to the side. Either way, our shoulders are back and down and our spine is tall. We're looking to extend through that hamstring. Shoulders down and back. If that's uncomfortable on the toe, feel free to grab a hold of that foot, maybe reach it up. Remember, it's okay to have a bend in the knee if that's where you're at, or extend the leg completely. Every body is different. Continue with those deep breaths. Tall through the spine, belly button draws in. One more big inhale. Exhale, softly lower that leg down. And we're on a bit of a 45 degree here. So our shoulders turn out. We're gonna come into Janusishasana. So a side angle here. So we're actually angled away from the leg. My right leg is extended, so my right hand is gonna come palm up to the inside of the leg. With a big inhale, our left hand, our opposite hand is gonna come up and over reaching towards that toe. Try to stack the shoulders here. We may be up tall and that's okay as long as our shoulders are in line. We open through the chest, roll the rib cage back, and reach that hand high. Feel free if you like to add some movement. So as we exhale, we reach down. Inhale, back. And exhale towards that toe. Inhale up or just hold it steady if that's where you're comfortable. Opening up long through the rib cage.
pull my bag in half. Exhale, completely folding over. Inhale, rising up. Hands behind the hips. Just a little roll out through the shoulders. We're going to take that bent leg, lift it up, and cross it over the extended leg. Sitting up tall, so feeling that length through the spine again, opening up through the chest, gripping that bent leg. Left hand goes back. Big inhale, turning towards the back. Looking over your back shoulder. Feeling an opening through the collarbone. Big inhales, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, easing into that twist. Slow, deep breaths. On next, how coming out of the twist. A little roll out through the shoulders. Both legs are going to come in front. Hands back and just dropping them down. Knees side to side in a windshield wiper motion. Coming back into center, we're going to tuck the right leg in tight and the left leg in front. So this should be opposite sides now. Again, making sure we're even through the flesh here. Hands over the knees, draw the shoulders up, back and down. Big inhale, opening up. On an exhale, we're going to sweep down towards the right, all the way forward. Inhale to the left. Exhale, switching directions. Again, stopping at any point that you might feel you need just a little bit more attention. At your own pace, every exhale, we lower down. Every inhale, we sweep up. Nice and easy. Length through your spine. On your next exhale, we're going to hold it forward. Hands come in front. Belly button aims towards the legs and then the chest towards the floor. Ears, shoulders, hips in line. And then slowly lower yourself down as you exhale. So you may be nice and tall, leaning forward. Lots of space between the ears and the shoulders. Or you may find that you're able to come lower down with a flat back. Shoulders away from the ears. Length through your spine. Keep those big belly breaths. Every exhale, we come down a little bit further, maybe reaching those hands out just a tad farther. On your next inhale, slowly rise up, rolling out through those shoulders, taking those peace fingers again, 
to that front leg, to the left leg, wrapping it around the big toe and extending that leg out as far as you can. Think about length through that spine. So our chest is open, our collarbone is long, space between the ears and the shoulders, maybe extending through that leg if that's available to you. Maybe it feels better to grab a hold of the inside of the foot, shoulders down and back, and tall through the spine. It's very easy to round through the back here and get a little bit lazy, but we want to sit tall. That'll help accentuate that stretch through the back of the hamstring. Pressing through the heel, shoulders down and back, spine is tall, big inhale. On an exhale, we lower it down. So again, Johnny Shishasana here, we're gonna turn on that little bit of a 45. My left leg is extended, so my left hand comes palms up to the inside of the leg. Open through the chest, big inhale, reaching up and over. Here we're extending through that side body, feeling the ribs open as you roll them back. You can add some motion as you exhale, reach down. Sweep around, big inhale and open. Or you can hold it there. Options yours, whatever feels right. Lots of length through that side body. One more big inhale. Exhale completely. And then inhale all the way up. Hands behind the hips, a little roll out here. Taking that bent leg, bringing it up and over the extended leg. Lots of length through that extended leg. Opposite hand wraps around. Right hand should be back, big inhale, opening up through that collarbone and looking over that back shoulder. Big deep breaths. Every exhale, we ease into that twist just a little bit more. Keeping a tall spine. Inhale, back to center. Let's bring the feet together in the middle, hands back, and drop them down in that windshield wiper motion again. Resetting the hips, bring them into center, feet together, and drop the knees out to the side. Sitting up nice and tall, we're going to take our thumbs to the inside of the foot and just feel like you're prying the inside of the feet outward. Nice and easy, we're sitting comfortably on those sit bones, tall through the back, pressing the knees down, nice and wide. Opening up through the hips, sitting tall. Lift up through the chest and draw back and down through the shoulders. Slow, deep breath. On your next exhale, we're going to bring the chest, the forehead forward, 
pressing the knees down. I like to use my elbows here. A little bit of added pressure, but lots of space still between the shoulders and the ears. Melting softly towards the feet. On an inhale, rise up. Rolling out through the shoulders, extend the legs out wide. So as wide as you feel comfortable, making sure we're even on those sit bones, pulling out any flesh, hands along the shins, big inhale, we're tall through the spine. We're gonna reach the belly button towards the floor, the chest towards the floor, as opposed to the forehead. So big inhale, lengthen through that spine, as we exhale, reach everything forward. Neutral spine, try not to tuck the chin in towards the chest, rather keep that space as we reach the belly button forward. Your hands might be at the thighs, at the shins, at the feet, wherever they are, that is a beautiful space. Lengthening through those spines, Every exhale brings us just a little bit deeper while keeping the spine as tall as possible, space between the chin and the chest. Shoulders draw down and back. And on an inhale, rising up. Keeping the left hand on the left leg, big exhale as we reach that right hand up and over. Trying to stack the shoulders here. Keep that right hand above the ears, opening up through the side body. Big deep breath. And exhale. Inhale, rising up, opposite side, right hand down, left hand lifts as we exhale. Stacking the shoulders. You may notice you have one side that feels a little bit more comfortable than the other and that is perfectly normal. Draw the toes in towards the body, stack the shoulders, open up through the chest. Slow, deep breaths. Inhale, rising up. Hands in behind the hips. Just wiggle those legs in together. A little shake out. Press the heels down and draw the toes up towards the body. Again, making sure any flesh is lifted from the sit bones. Press the back of the knees down. Lots of length through the spine as we open up through the chest. Draw the shoulders back and down. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, belly button towards the thighs, chest towards the knees. Slowly lower the hands down. Big inhale, reach up again. Exhale for the second time, belly button to thighs, chest to knees. Once more, final time, inhale. On this exhale, we should get a little bit more space. Belly button towards the thighs, chest to the knees. Hands on the thighs, the shin, the feet, wherever you feel comfortable. Shoulders away from the ears. Continue those big, deep belly breaths. That length in the spine is important to target through those hamstrings, through the glutes. If we round our back and tuck our head towards our shins, you'll notice a big change in how the flexibility is being challenged. Slow, deep breaths. Inhale, rising up, rolling out. 
gonna try to get the Great Dane out of the picture. There's never a problem with having a dog so big. However, she does take up the entire camera space. And we're gonna bring the legs around and lay down onto the back. So laying onto the back, tuck the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the shins, just gently rock side to side. And then extend the legs straight up. So you can see on the other side of Duvasa that I have my legs above. And that is how tall she is. I am just shy of six feet tall, and this dog is almost as long as my legs. And there you go, when she sits, she is as tall as my legs. Relaxing through the spine, just allowing everything to flow out of those legs. We spend so much time seated or standing where all the blood will pool into our legs. So this is a beautiful place to end our day. Draining all the blood, all the swelling from the feet, maybe some twirls through the ankle one way and then the other. One more big inhale. And exhale, laying those legs all the way down. Getting nice and comfortable here in Savasana or Corpse Pose. Hands can be down by the side. They can be petting the Great Dane. Continue that breath pattern just for a moment or two, closing the eyes, relaxing into your mat. Notice any last bit of the stress from the day slowly melting off. Slowly relaxing deeper and deeper into the mat. Take a moment and just be thankful. Think of something today, someone perhaps that maybe said or did something nice. Take a moment to reflect on how that made you feel. And slowly draw the knees back up into the chest, wrapping the hands around the shins. Hugging yourself in tight and rolling onto the right side. So rolling onto the right side, let the knees fall to the side, rest your head on the right arm. Take a moment just to thank your body for its ability to practice.
And when you're ready, use that left arm to press your way up. Coming into an easy seated position. So sitting cross-legged or maybe on the knees if that's available to you. Rolling out through those shoulders. Bringing the hands into heart center. I'd like to thank you for joining me and Duvesa, my Vesa bear here in our practice this evening. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them. Otherwise, I wish you a wonderful evening. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you again so much for your practice. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you again next time.